So along with today's launch of the new 8 gig Raspberry Pi 4, we've also updated the Raspberry Pi OS. Uh, it's now called the Raspberry Pi OS, so forget Raspbian, remove it from your mental dictionary. It's now Raspberry Pi OS. And we thought it'd be cool to just come on here and just do a video and show you some of the changes that we've made. So first things first, if you come up to the home icon in the top left hand corner and click help, you'll see this brand new application here called Bookshelf. And for some of you that may not know, uh, Raspberry Pi Press is the publishing arm of Raspberry Pi. And that's where we publish magazines such as the Magpie, Hackspace Magazine, Wireframe, Custom PC, Digital SLR Photography, and also various books as well. And for the Magpie, for Hackspace Magazine, and for Wireframe, we also release free PDFs on the day of publication. So the day that the magazine goes live and you can buy it in your local news agents or on the Raspberry Pi Press website, you can also come along to any of the websites for those magazines and download the PDF for free, which is really, really cool. So we thought it'd be fun to create this bookshelf where we collect together all the PDFs, update them as they change, as new ones come out, and you can come on in and you can download them and read them on your Raspberry Pi. So you see we've got Magpie, Hackspace Magazine, Wireframe Magazine, and under books here, I've already downloaded one so I can show you what they look like. So we have this little cloud icon here and that means that that hasn't been downloaded yet. So that's waiting for you to download from the cloud. See what we did there. Whereas this one here, Code the Classics, you can see is nice and bright and that's because I've already downloaded that PDF to show you. So all I have to do is just double click on Code the Classics. It's gonna open up Chromium, which is what we're using as the PDF viewer for all of these publication PDFs. And straight away, we're into Code the Classics which is awesome. You can have a look through. Anyone who doesn't know what Code the Classics is, uh, it's a book we released right at the end of last year, which uh, we collect together some of our favorite retro games and have rewritten our own versions of them and provide the code so you can write it yourself and you can also hack it yourself. So you can comb through here, even if you have the book at home, it's really handy to have this. You can just reference and not have to take the book off your shelf or if you're in a different place, remember to bring it with you. So let's just close that. So that is the bookshelf app and I'm just going to close the bookshelf app. The second uh, addition that we have put onto the Raspberry Pi OS is if you go down to preferences and recommended software and for anyone who hasn't seen the recommended software application yet this is where we put our recommended software. So this is software that we think you'll really enjoy as a Raspberry Pi user but we're not going to automatically install it onto the Raspberry Pi for you. You can come in and you can pick what you'd like to have on your Raspberry Pi. And actually, if you go into games, you'll see those Code the Classics games here that you can download and play. But we're gonna be going to Universal Access. And here, anyone who's been in here previously will see that on our last update, we included Orca the screen reader onto the Raspberry Pi. And now this time around, we've added the magnifier. So if we just click here, and we're going to click OK, and that is going to install it onto our Raspberry Pi. Nice and simple. Once it's done, it's going to ask us to reboot. So I'm going to click yes, and I'll see you in a second. And we're back. And now you can see in the top right hand corner, we have this little magnifier icon. When I click it, we now have a magnifier and you can use that across applications on the Raspberry Pi. So if you're editing text, um, if you're using terminal, anything at all, you can get your magnifier out, click it again, it'll disappear. If we right click on it, you can see magnifier settings. And when I go in here, I can change it from a circle to a rectangle. I can change the width and height. And I can also change the zoom, so how much I'd like it to zoom in. So let's click on that again. Boom. I mean, that might be a bit too close. Right. So the last change that we've made is actually um, an audio change. So previously on Raspberry Pis, we treated both the HDMI internal audio output and the headphone jack um, output as one single uh, device. And now what we've done is we've split it. So the HDMI and the audio jack are now two separate devices as far as the Raspberry Pi is concerned. And when you go up here to your volume, right click and you will see 
AV jack and the HDMI. So you can now select between the two. So to update your current version of the Raspberry OS to the latest one, you just need to go into terminal. We're going to type two things in. First, sudo apt update, hit return on that. And once that finishes, we're then going to type sudo apt full upgrade, hit return, or run through the upgrades so long as you're connected to the internet. Um, and then when that's done, it's going to ask you to reboot. And once you've rebooted, you'll be in the new OS. So if you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments and we will answer them for you. Um, and yeah, have a great time with the new Raspberry Pi OS and we'll see you soon.